Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and in this video we're going to be talking about combos with Toge Inumaki. Now, Toge, uh, unfortunately, doesn't have too much interesting when it comes to combos. And you would think that's because he's a zoner or some kind of interesting setup character or something. No, he just doesn't really do much when it comes to combos. So, of course, we've got our regular default full attack string combo, which, you know, leads to a little bit of a damaging ender at the end. Now, unfortunately, every time you do this, it will take your curse gauge like everyone else, but it also will take some of your throat meter, which makes, you know, his throat a little bit sore and he'll start to take damage later on. The one thing that's not good about this attack string is basically anything that leads into it. Like if I do this launcher and my opponent's not nearby, I can't get this full thing into an attack string. Some characters can do that, but Toke can't, and it will take your meter accidentally. If I get a freeze and I try to go into my full attack string, I also will not be able to get the full thing into the damaging component, which really sucks. And even after this little bit of fighting, as you can see, my throat gauge is already completely down, so you have to really worry about that. The only thing that will let you combo into this regular attack string is your flip kick, which is with Y or triangle, and that only works if the opponent is in a very specific positioning to the wall. So if they're close to the wall or have their corner, like up in the corner, then it'll work. The same thing applies with your B or circle attack string. As long as they're, oh, see that didn't actually work because we slightly moved away from the wall. But if they happen to be pressed up against it at the perfect distance and whatever, this can also let you combo into your full attack string. Which is cool, but as you can see, it's very situational, and it can very easily mess up. There we go. That kind of worked because the opponent actually kind of... Oh, and then it messed up because of this. I was going to say it worked because the environment kind of trapped him there on that building. But, yeah, oh crap. So there, finally we did it. From the perfect distancing from the wall, you can get a full combo attack string off of that button. And keep in mind, the reason why I'm talking about this is that off of these things, you cannot get any other kind of damage. They don't cancel into specials. Even the thing that does cancel into it doesn't actually deal damage. So yeah, just keep in mind, if you want to get damage from a bunch of your buttons, you have to very specifically be near the wall or just get wrecked because you have to get some kind of reset into the regular attack string. Now he also does have some interesting combos, like you can do almost the full attack string and then go into the flip kick and then get stuff like that going to get a little bit more of a, a cursed energy increasing combo where it's just a bunch of hits that don't do damage. And if you are at the perfect distance from the wall, you can also do that. After the flip kick, you'll be able to get your regular special, and you'll actually get some damage from it. Woohoo! And aside from these, you know, very specific wall-based combos, or combos that don't deal any damage, the only things that are going to lead into damage with Toge is if you land, like say, your uppercut that's unblockable, your opponent isn't nearby, you can just do a little bit of a dash up into your special. That'll combo the opponent and deal a decent amount of damage if you are at full cursed energy. And the same thing applies after your freeze. Unfortunately, you can't get much else except for just going straight into a special, which is some okay damage, and I don't want to talk down on the Inumaki too much, but that is a very specific thing that deals only a quarter of the opponent's life and costs you almost your entire cursed energy gauge and will make your throat, like, half, like, destroyed. I don't know, but it's, it's one of the main ways you get damage, so make sure you do it. Now, Inumaki does also have a separate way of ending this string off of B or circle, depending on what controller you're using. And it's just where you press the button again, and he'll do this blast away, which launches the opponent very far away. You can either do it at the very beginning or at the very end of the attack string. And as you can see, it launches the opponent extremely far away for a long amount of time and knocks them into a hard knockdown. So basically, for like a full few seconds, that character is out of place. So if you have an annoying character you don't want to fight against, like a, a Sukuna or a, a Gojo that is like really beating up your team, you can just, anytime you hit him, just get him out of here. It doesn't deal any damage, but they're out of play, and then you can keep bullying the, the weaker of the characters. And every time he starts to come in, you just do it again and blast him away. So there is no damage there, but that is like a... Something to keep in mind when it comes to hitting the opponent that you do have this like utility of just knocking him just completely out of the game. So apart from these like meterless combos that, I mean, 
these non-damaging combos. They don't do any damage, they just build up your meter. Uh, he can also choose to go for some kind of like reset shenanigans if you like know the opponent's gonna be blasted away. Like I can just dash up and go for stuff like this. Or if I've done anything that will let the opponent recover, like part of my regular attack string or this flip kick, I can kind of do like a dash in and get close to them. And when I just tap dash once, I'm at this distance, which is kind of the perfect distance for me to either do a freeze or just a straight up blast down special. Or I could do like my flying kick into the blast away. Because even if it, it does miss the first kick, the blast away is a pretty big hitbox. And the blast away, like we said, is actually kind of useful if you feel like knocking the opponent far away. So yeah, anytime I get something like this, I can dash up and go for a, okay, a little bit more of a dash and then go for a freeze. And then if I do know that I freeze them, you know, I can take my damage or, you know, something else. You know, I've done my full combo, whatever, ended in this. I can just mash on circle. And even if that first part doesn't hit, the blast away probably will. Because it's probably pretty big. It's one of his biggest attack things. His biggest hitbox things. Unfortunately, this knockdown thing doesn't have as great range as you would expect from something that is literally his voice. But that's how it is. But yeah, basically, that's it for combos with Inumaki. You're either just going for your regular attack string or praying that you're near the wall that will let you combo into your regular attack string, or you're just doing something because anything else that you do will either knock the opponent really far away for you to either attack the other character or drink your medicine, or you're going to be doing some weird reset stuff where you dash up and like freeze them. And anytime that you get a hit like you're unblockable, you dash up and get this. Oops, I didn't do it correctly. Or anytime you get your freeze, you can also do it. And whoops, you have to make sure you have your four, four bars of curse energy, or else you will not be able to get it when you're at max. And then I suppose also we can combo into our ultimate relatively easily if you do consider the fact that we have a freeze. So any of the time we've gone for any of our resets or whatever, and we know like, oh, froze him. Let's get him. Oops, and I messed that up. There we go. So it's probably not a proper combo because it's so slow, but it will probably catch a lot of people because I don't know if they can dash out of there in time and it's also unblockable.